Baseball played a major part in America during World War II. On January 15, 1942, President Franklin Roosevelt issued his famous green light letter, giving baseball the go-ahead to play during the 1942 season and beyond. The president wrote that playing the baseball season would be best for the country. Baseball would lift America's morale while giving factory workers who were on 24-hour shifts a chance to see the games. Just as importantly, hearing baseball news gave the soldiers in Europe and the Pacific a chance to feel close to home. Due to the manpower shortage, the teams were composed of many players 18 years or younger, or over 40, but it was baseball. Hall of Fame first baseman Hank Greenberg served during the war, joining many fellow major leaguers. Broadcaster Hank Greenwald tells us about the post-war 1945 World Series, as well as a colorful description of the players who made up the teams during the war years. Well, it uh, was wide open for a new generation of players, uh, in fact, several generations when you look at it, either guys who were under 18 or over 40. You know, they were not uh, subject to the uh, World War II draft, so they were available to play, and uh, there were some ball players who, for whatever reasons physically, uh, were unable to serve, and there were a few of them sprinkled in as well, but uh, baseball, let's say dropped a level or two during those years, but from a fan standpoint, uh, they were just as uh, intense about the playing of the game, and it was a great thing for morale during the war, as Franklin Roosevelt was wise enough to know in uh, giving baseball the uh, famous green light to go ahead, because uh, he felt that uh, it would be a great morale booster for all the people at home working in the factories, the war fact production factories, give them something to do and uh, their off hours, as well as the uh, soldiers overseas who would uh, be kept abreast of what was going on through the sporting news, uh, the baseball Bible, uh, which shipped thousands of copies uh, to the servicemen overseas so that they could uh, remain conversant uh, with the state of the game. Greenberg was drafted to serve in 1941 before the war actually started in in the Pacific, the war in Europe was on, although uh, the United States was not in it at that point. But uh, he put in his year. He was then discharged uh, December 5th, coming back to the Tigers for the 42 season. But two days later, as you mentioned, uh, the Japanese uh, bombed Pearl Harbor. And uh, the day after that, uh, Greenberg uh, re-enlisted. And uh, so he was gone for another three and a half years after that, missing a total of four and a half years out of uh, prime years in his uh, career. Greenberg uh, did get out of the service uh, at the end of May mm -hmm. that year, and he took June to get himself back into playing condition and played the second half of the season for the Tigers and uh, uh, actually won the pennant on the last day of the season with a grand slam uh, against the Browns that clinched first place for the Tigers. Now they go into the World Series. It was a World Series essentially of a lot of misfits, guys who were filling in, you know, playing Chuck Hostetler, who played for the Tigers, was over 40. Doc Kramer was at least close to that, if not more. And uh, it was a World Series that John Carmichael, a sports writer, said, I don't think either team can win. That was the famous line about the 45 <laughs> World Series which uh, the Tigers ultimately did win in seven games. Uh, an interesting thing about that World Series is that uh, the visiting team won five of the seven games, mm -hmm. and uh, they were still playing under the wartime travel restrictions, even though the war with Japan had ended a month earlier, uh, and which meant that uh, the first three games of that series were played in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And the last four were scheduled for Chicago and were needed. The 1945 World Series matched the National League champion Chicago Cubs against the American League's Detroit Tigers. Detroit won the series in seven games. Due to wartime travel restrictions, the series opened in Detroit for three games before moving to Chicago for the final four. Hank Greenberg, he hit the only two home runs for the Tigers in the series while driving in seven. Baseball played a huge role during the war by maintaining an area of American life that reached across America, as well as to the battlegrounds of the Pacific and Europe. U.S. History, 
as seen through the eyes of baseball, brought to you by AmericanInnings.org.